What's up, y'all? It's me, Mega Santos here. I'm playing an RPG horror game called From the Next Door. And on the last video, uh, what well, we did the last video? Let's see. Um, oh, yeah. I found some stuff from the old tenant. Um, I got an email back, I think. And, oh, yeah. Don't think our, our window was open. And we don't know who who opened it but then when i when i went to sleep some guy broke into my house and i quickly locked the door before that guy was trying to you know do whatever and i'm just sitting in my room waiting to be daylight so yeah let's continue so damn do not open it get out of the house find the notebook get out of the house huh wow well, 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 well. I opened it. I found the notebook. But should I go outside? Oh, God. What the hell? Is that footprints? The floor is covered with dirty footprints. Looking closely, the footprints don't look like they were made by a person. An animal, maybe. So I guess it w came in through here. Oh, shit. The footprints came from here. It looks like something entered through the window. But I locked it last night, didn't I? And the window's closed. Interesting. There's a strange black substance on the, stuck on the lock. It looks like some kind of black spider web. Weird. You close the window again, wiping the substance away. I should probably clean this up too. Scary. No one is there, huh? Oh, scary. Save. Yeah. So, I found the safe. I have no idea what this is, though. Four digits, though. Hmm. Could be for this. Oh, 125, finishing manual. Should I call somebody? Call Marusan. Rukasan Amura speaking. It's Matsuda. Oh yes, how can I help you? Something happened yesterday, yes? I think an animal got inside the house last night. I didn't see it, but today there was footprints all over the second floor. An animal? Did it do anything? Not really. How did it get in? Through the window on the second floor, although... I mean... On the second floor. Although... I had it closed before I went to bed. It's odd. This area doesn't have any history with animal invading homes. Maybe it was one of a time incident. One time incident, I guess I say. But just to be safe, be sure to lock everything up tonight, alright? Yeah. Guess that's it, huh? Let's call mom. Uh, should you really worry? Nah. Should I? Just in, you know, just in case Dad wants to help me out, why not? Yeah. Hello? Hello, Mom. Amy, how's the new house? It's fine. No, it isn't. What happened? Mommy knows. It's just something happened last night. I think an animal got inside the house. An animal? What kind of animal? Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't know what it was. It was gone by morning. So you didn't see it? No, I was in bed already. Well, are you sure it wasn't a dream? No, I'm sure. The house was covered in dirty footprints, and they came from an open whoop, open window. I see. Well, maybe you should contact animal control and let them know there's a wild animal um, entering people's house. I don't know if I got into other houses, Mom. Maybe it, it was just an incident. Still, don't forget to lock your windows tonight. Be safe, Naomi. Hmm. I guess that's everybody then. Crazy, huh? Should start carrying a gun with me. But nothing out of the ordinary. Oops. So. I guess he was talking about the substance he was looking at.
Nothing special. Okay, okay. Nothing special then. Well, maybe I should ask my neighbor. Honda san? Yeah, that's her name, Honda san. Is that the crowbar? It's a nail puller you bought. You should figure out where to put it eventually. Same thing. Hmm, came over there, right? You have no business here. Strange. Let me ask Honda san. You shouldn't bother Honda san right now. Why not? Is it daytime or not? Should I go back to sleep then? Man, give me the crowbar. I need to take that with me. This is Mathematics Volume 1 and 5. Hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. So. The room is locked. Simple vase. No one is there. It's closed. So, interesting. Is there really nothing in here? Hmm. There's nothing else, huh? An email. You can print a red email, yes. Don't overdo it. Safe. A new message. Mathematics Volume 1. Point spiral helix axle. What? What is this? For the safe? Hmm. Yeah, read the email. So, Mathematics Volume 1. I mean, Volume 4. Oh, okay. Go. Okay. I know. Go over here. Mathematics Volume 4. Is this what this send meant? You pick up the book. It's marked on a specific page. It's chapter about spirals. Spirals? Oh, crap. Well, that's a lot to read. <clears throat> A curve on a plane that winds around a fixed center point. Point. Oh, I never had to read all this crap. Uh, where is it? Two. Nine. Four. Four. That's it. You open the safe. There isn't much inside except for a few scratches. I mean, scattered papers. You pick up a few that have been clipped together. They're newspaper clippings. It's a small article. The kind that sits uh, nowhere near the front page. It's about a missing child, though, to have run away from home. According to the article, the parents went to check on their son at night, only to find him missing from his bedroom, with only the bedroom window left open. The parents insisted that there was no reason for their son to run away, but authorities found no forced entry or struggles in sick to signify an, an abduction. A, mix, a missing child. This article was from nearly 10 years ago. Hmm. You pick up the n uh, next article on the pile. Missing child, runaway, or abduction. It's another article about a missing boy. This one goes into detail about the investigation, how there were no sign of either abduction or the boy running away. The next article you pick up is distinctively uh, bigger than the previous ones. Couple goes missing inside their own home. You read over the article. It's about the same couple with a missing child, except this time they were they were the ones who went to missing. After not hearing from them for days, a relative went to check on the couple only to find no one home. When the authorities went to investigate, however, they found that the house had been locked from the inside. The only thing um, open was the window of their missing son's room on the second floor. This is the damn house, isn't it? There's a picture of the house with an article, but looking at it only confirmed your suspicion. It was the house you're in right now. Oh shit, I was right. You check the date of the article. It was written just a few weeks after the first missing child. First few weeks? Damn. You take a look at the other articles, and they all seem to be about the missing couple or the child. The last one, however, is a small article about... Furukawa, I think. Housing acquiring his house. I mean, what's it? 
Furukawa Housing, acquiring this house four years after the incident. According to the article, no one wanted to move in after it happened, so it was sold at a considerably smaller price. That explained why it was so cheap. At the bottom of the newspaper clipping pile, there's a handwritten note. Oh shit. Pre extended. Disappeared without paying rent. Though to be some kind of schemer or con artist. Okay. There's another pile of papers inside the safe. You put the newspapers, clip them back, and grab uh, the other pile. Ayako left me a message today that she wanted to stop by the house to say goodbye before she moved away, but I couldn't answer at the time. I should have told her to stay away. <clears throat> I'm kind of, kind of thirsty. Um, I went to, when I got home. No one was there, but her shoes were by the entrance, and her bag was on the table. That window was open too. I think it took her. Oh, I can't tell this to anyone. They think I did something. It's true that I wasn't the best boyfriend, which is. I think I heard something. It's true that I wasn't the best boyfriend. Which is why she broke up with me in the first place. But we still had a lot of respect for each other, and I wish her the best of at her new job. Ugh. Excuse me. I swear I could never do anything to her. She didn't. She hadn't believed me when I told her about that thing. But still, I should have stopped her from over, uh, from ever stepping foot back in this house. And now she's gone. It took her over there. I've blocked up the window now because it seems locking the room didn't do anything and tomorrow I'm getting the hell out and never coming back. I'll try to warn the agent who rented me this place, but I doubt he listened. Oh, okay, well Naomi, you're you're pretty much fucked. What does what does he mean? It took her. You read the notes again and then one more time trying to make sense of everything. It's hard to make sense of it in a way that doesn't involve wild, outlandish theories. You decide to put it away for the night. Maybe you can look it over tomorrow. Wow. I better save this. Alright. And you know what? I'm about to stop from here. So until the next time, later. Peace. I'm out.